welcome back. Today I'm currently on my way down to my cousin's place to pick up the cleaner that we are part share owners on. Uh, we've got a little bit of debagging to go at the moment, but we need to clean the ergot out of the barley and also out of the wheat. So over the next week, that's our mission, our job, uh, is to do that. And then once we've done that, we're finally finished with outloading. So stick with us and I'll show you the, the cleaner and I'll show you the process that it takes for us to clean the grain so that it can be deliverable. Got it all hooked up, ready to go. Now to get it back to the farm and have some fun. Now that we've got the cleaner here, it is time to figure out the best way for us to set it up and have it all work efficiently for us. So we shall see what we can come up with. Okay, we are all set up. We've got our feed silo going into the cleaner and then we've got the clean grain comes out on this side so then it'll go onto the road and on the other side is where all our seconds or tailings will go so that's where that is and now to go and get some grain so henry's off in the bug and george is just heading off now in his chaser and we shall get some grain happening Here on top of the cleaner, and I'll show you how it works. So, we've got our hopper there, so that's all our dirty grain. Comes up into here, gets down, and then this here is our fan, so that blows some of the light stuff out, and then all travels through these tubes. Now, all the good grain will stay in, go to the end, and then it comes out to our good grain, and all the stuff we don't want comes out these little gaps, falls to the bottom, goes along and then comes out our auger and current into the chaser bin and that's all our seconds so all the stuff we uh, don't want is in there and all the good stuff is there so you can see we're a bit full at the moment we're just getting a few more fill bins to come along and we shall continue the operation. Sitting by the cleaner, it's just slow, slow going. We uh, just need to make sure that we keep our grain up, which George will be coming in in a few minutes to top that up. And uh, all I need to do is just check and make sure that the, the cleaner's doing what it's supposed to, the grain's going where it's meant to. So I'll show you on the top there. So I get an even
So while we sit here and watch the cleaner do its thing, I guess I should explain why it is we're cleaning and what erg it is. Um, so we're cleaning because we have too much ergot in our grain at the moment and CBH have a receivable standard that we have to follow and in that uh, standard it's I believe at the moment it's three centimeters is all we're allowed in feed barley and what ergot is is it's a fungus that grows on ryegrass seed and it's caused due to wet conditions at the end of the season or during harvest which we had quite a wet harvest this year and the reason that ergot is not allowed or not a huge amount is because it calls it causes a thing called ergotism in humans and uh, other mammals who consume grain that's contaminated with, with ergot uh, essentially it's a form of lsd uh, and in humans it causes nausea vomiting numbness itching and hallucinations and in cattle it causes the uh, animal to go lame and can also cause the crisis and death so you can see why we don't want to <laughs> don't want to be eating that and delivering that so yeah in feed barley obviously that's going for all the cattle the livestock everything like that so that's why we're getting it out of this and when we get into the wheat and we start cleaning the wheat we um, obviously don't want that in our bread or flour or anything like that so that is what ergot is and that is why we are cleaning it that's it for today's video just a short video of cleaning at the moment i'm full of storage so i cannot go anymore but i'll be sitting next to this thing for the next week and a bit to do the the rest of the 400 ton that's going to go so the slow process but we'll get it done if you enjoyed the video like subscribe and i will see you in the next one